From Hollywood, here's the game where knowledge is king and lady luck is queen. It's the Joker's Wild. And now, here's the host of our show, Jack Barry. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for welcome once again to the Joker's Wild. Those of you who've lived the past few days here on the Joker's Wild know that we have a very subdued, quiet, introspective contestant who manages to keep winning all the games. He's won a few games, and when we last, we were with you on the last program, it was a tie game, 300 apiece, when our time ran out. We're gonna finish that game right now. I hope nobody will make too much noise. We don't want to wake up this contestant. Uh, Jay, would you reintroduce the champion and the challenger? My pleasure, Jack. That quiet current champion who's winning total over $5,200 is a construction worker. His name is Phil Gilbert. And his opponent is an analyst. Her hobbies are sewing and reading. This is Brenda Johnson. Hi, Brendan and Phil. Nice to have you back on the program. Phil, uh, you told us you were going to go home and very quietly nap. Uh, are you all recuperated? Oh, I feel great, Jack. This Ready is, to uh, go, huh? Yep, big times again. Yes, sir. You uh, excited about being in the program again? No. No, huh? <laughs> Uh, yeah. Yes, you are. Yeah. Brenda, how does it feel to play against a fellow that has so much exuberance as this guy? Very strange. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you we were right in the middle of a game when our time ran out. Of course, he's already won over $5,000, so he's pretty calm. You've never won anything yet. And the score is 300 to 300. It's all tied up. And let me take you a look, give you a look at the categories we were using, and which we'll continue to use in this show. Here are the categories. They were the mystery category, take it and you'll get double. Africa, followed by saints and sinners, inventions, and finally, TV comedy shows. So with it all tied up at 300 apiece, Brenda, it is your spin. Good luck. And you get a joker, TV comedy shows, and a triple. Jack, I'll take TV comedy shows for 200. Okay, and this could be bad news for you, Phil. She already has $300. Yep. If she answers this, she'll be $500. It's enough for her to win. You'll only get one more spin, and then you'd have to get at least a triple. Let's see first how she makes out with the show. Jackie Gleason plays the character of Ralph Cramden, and Art Carney is his buddy Norton in this classic long-running series. For a total of $500, name the show. The Honeymooners. Right for $500. Okay, Phil Gilbert, it all comes down to this moment. You need at least a triple to tie her or three jokers to beat her. Anything else that comes up on those wheels, you would lose the game. You need all the luck you can summon right now, Phil. And there's the mystery category, of course. I've forgotten about that. So with a lucky spin in the mystery category, that could do it as well. Let's see your spin. Come on, B. Joker! 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 happened on this show in the past six years, but this is the living oh, end. Joker! That is too much. And of course, the funniest thing would be is if you missed the question. <laughs> it wouldn't be funny, of course, to you. However, having survived this, you now know you have to pick a category right. and answer the question. If you answer it, you win. If right. you miss it, she wins. Which category do you TV pick? TV comedy series for the bundle, 200. Okay. Here you go. It's not, not only 200. Oh, for the game. You yeah. win the game. You will win $500, but since you got three jokers, that automatically entitles you to win. Come if you answer this correctly, you will have $5,785 to your credit and the chance to play the bonus. If you miss it, Brenda is our new champion. In this television series, Welcome Back, Cotter, what is the last name of the character portrayed by actor John Travolta? Barbarino! You'll win it all the way! Congratulations. Phil, you are not only well-informed, you are the luckiest guy ever lived. <laughs> and in a moment Thank you'll... Thank you, Auntie Anita. <laughs> Auntie, as Auntie Anita, for those of you who are watching and didn't watch in the last program, is the lady who didn't show up, who gives them all his advice. She lives in Malibu and couldn't get here. It's a long story. I'll tell you later, right after these commercials, right here. <laughs> is it five, six... 
Well, Brenda Johnson, I didn't have a chance to say how well you played, and you were defeated in the final analysis by the three jokers in a very phenomenal and unprecedented kind of an op opportunity for Phil here. But backstage will be some nice consolation prizes, and I think this audience wants to applaud you for the nice effort you Thank made. You. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you. And before we give uh, Phil Gilbert, the lucky man, a chance to play his bonus game, may I remind you that any player who does win five games in a row, and the next game coming up will be his fifth game, would win this. It's a brand new car! A Chevy Chevette four-door hatchback. The new hair door makes it easy to get into the back seat where you'll find lots of leg room. The Chevette four-door hatchback has the comfort and convenience you want in a small car, furnished by Chevy Chevette. Okay, very good. Thank you, Jay Stewart. And Phil, come on over here and beat this devil. Here he comes, right over here. Well, Phil, you didn't, uh, you didn't think you were going to be back up here, did you? Oh, no, I knew I was coming back. Oh, I you had did? to come back. You knew you were going to get those three jokers. I got that, that thing in mind, yeah. Really, got the feeling. Got the feeling. You got that feeling of pressure. Saturday like, night fever, yeah, you know. Like you did on the last time. <laughs> Yeah, Thursday the, night. Remember the last it. time you said that the devil wasn't going to come no, up? You I, had the I, same I, feeling and the devil came up? Well, the, the devil made me do it. I, the devil made I, me I do know. it. Well, you're anxious to play this bonus I'm game. I'm ready to go. Here we you go. know what happens the next game. Yeah. The next game, if you could win, you'd win a car. It's the big one. It's the big one. The big All right. Well, let's get to your bonus game. Of course, if you can get to $1,000 without seeing that devil, as you know, there'll be some bonuses for you. And here are the prizes you get. This time, we'll start with the deluxe Silver Seiko Portable Electric Typewriter. Sturdy, easy to tote, engineered to last, to get for the entire family from Silver Seiko. And sincerely yours, a luxurious nylon plush with an elegant self tone understated design. Beautiful yet durable. Quality carpeting for your home from Laurel Crest. Also, a Montverde Spanish style stereo console. AM FM receiver, eight track recorder player, deluxe three speed record changer with precision arm and record storage well. Rich paneling, dynamic sound from Monteverdi. Plus, Fos Thomas Jefferson collection of lamps. Weathered bronze fixtures with hand blown opal glass. An authentic colonial design in the rich tradition of American craftsmanship. Furnished by Quazelle Lighting. And Lazy Boy's famous wall recliner, Sofette. Reclines when placed one inch from the wall. Let you recline separately. It's ideal where space is limited, and it's a Lazy Boy. And Phil, this bonus round is worth almost $3,100 in cash and prizes. How does all that grab you, Phil? Oh, you don't know. Yes, I know. I can see. I can <laughs> oh. see. Oh, that that sofa. That sofa. That's it. You can feel yourself that's sitting on it already, sofa. right? I just know it's it. It's the one you want, it's right? It's the one I want. You have to get to a $1,000, right? That's more. Right. Fun. Okay. To give him a spin. Okay. Come on. Here it comes. Real crazy. You get 75, 25, and 75. That's $175 if you quit now. If you go on and the devil comes up, you lose it all. Do you stop or go? What are you going to do? I've got to go over this one more time for sure. Okay, he's going again. It's got to be it. 250 $300, $400, $475. That's yours if you stop. Do you stop or go? I've got to go. Go one more time. One more time. Okay, one more time. This is it. Come on. It's this is for the break. There you go. 150. 200. 400. 500. 600. 700. 800. 825. I'm going to stop. You're going to what? Stop. I got to stop this time. Got to stop. He wants to stop. Oh, all right. But just because all of us will live in suspense the rest of our lives, just pull it once. This doesn't count to see if you would have gone over 1,000 or not. All right, here we go. 125, you would have gone over the top. Gosh, as a consolation prize, I give you $825. Here is 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 820, 825. Which we add to the money you won before. Phil, can you stand a little news? Oh, tell me. Tell me. You want me to tell, tell you? Tell me. Huh? You want to know tell what you're winning right yeah, now? Yeah, tell me. In cash tell prizes? Me. Tell me. Make it hurt. $6,610. Oh, it's good news. Those are, it's music to my ears. It's music. Can I give you some more music to your ears? We now come to the critical fifth game. In this next game, if you can win it, and you've been pretty lucky and skillful so far, 
You'd win in, everything else, in addition to everything else, an automobile worth almost $4,000. You're a cinch yeah. to leave this program, even if everything happens wrong in the sixth game, about eleven or twelve thousand dollars richer than when you came. Yes. Is that all right? Oh, is it all right? <laughs> yes. You may gather from that that it's okay. <laughs> Go on back and play the game, and good luck to you. Here we go. <laughs> I tell you something very funny. He makes me tired with his energy. <laughs> Here comes the next game, the fifth game, the big one, played against this challenger. We welcome now an insurance worker whose interests are genealogy and diving. Meet Paula Thomas. Hi, Paula. Hi. Tell me, I, I, I have to know, your instant reactions now that you're out here and you are meeting Phil Gilbert for the first time I'm on stage. I'm scared I want to beat the pants off of him. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I... I tell you something, Paula, I'd rather you didn't do that because you beat the pants off and the way he is, he's going to run around with them off. <laughs> I, I believe you. You are interested in dives? Or yeah, I used to dive on the men's oh, uh, dive, swim dive, team. Oh, dive, dive, No, no, not that. Uh -huh. I used to dive on the men's swim team in college. Oh, you're a real outdoor girl, eh? Yeah. Now I'm coaching a little girl softball team out in Woodland Hills named the Royals. And uh, we hope to win this season. I hope. I hope you do, too. And I know that you're going to give a good game to Phil, but... In order to prepare you for that game, I think you ought to have a little moment to share within yourself because you're going to need it to play against him. <laughs> and we shall be back after that quiet moment with the game of the century right after this. George Carlin is a comic master. It's now. This is the fifth game for Phil Gilbert. He has won so far $6,600 and with some luck, he could win this game and win an automobile. He'll be well over the ten or $11,000 mark. Of course, Paula Thomas is going to try to stop him, and these are the categories she'll contend with to try to do that. Here they are. They are fast-forward geography, a very important category. I'll explain that to you. U.S. money, lovers, followed by animal movies, and finally, Shakespeare. All right. Challenger goes first. Play very carefully. This is a very important game for both of you. Paula, your spin. Good luck. Okay. You have a joker, fast forward geography, and lovers. You know in the fast forward geography, if you take that, you are permitted in this category to keep on playing as long as you wish. Okay, I'll take lovers for 100. Okay, you're not taking geography, you're taking lovers, and here's the question. Actor Burt Reynolds was romantically linked to this popular singing star. She's the host of a television variety show. Give me the full name of the singer. Mm. Dinah Shore is the only one I can think of. Is that your answer? That is. That's the right answer. You have $100. You thought maybe it was Fanny Flagg? I couldn't think of anybody else. That was a good guess and a hundred dollar one. All right, your spin, Phil. Here's the game. Good luck. You lovers, have lovers, lovers, Hunter lovers, Bear and Shakespeare. I'll go with lovers for a hundred. Okay, you got a girlfriend, Phil? Yep. That's all. <laughs> Mick Jagger of the Rolling Stones is married to a South American beauty. Uh, yes, yeah, she sure is. Well, wait a minute, he's married to her, not you. <laughs> For $100, give me the first name of Mrs. Jagger. It's Bianca. Right, it's a tie game at 100 apiece. <laughs> and now we go to game number two. Your spin, Paula. Thank you. Fast forward geography, Joker and animal movies. Let's take fast forward geography for 100. Okay, as you know, you can keep playing this category as long as you wish. Here is your first question for $100. In which American city would you find Knob Hill, Russian Hill and Telegraph Hill. San Francisco. Right for $100. Uh, I want to be very careful with this now because a lot rides on it. You can quit now with your $200 and we can go to Phil's turn. Or you can play again for another 100 But if you miss the next question, you lose both the hundreds you accumulated. Do you want to stop now and give the turn to Phil or play on? No way will I give it to him. Uh -oh. Let's go. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right. $100 more. If you took a ferry boat from Italy to Yugoslavia, you would travel across a body of water that is a northern arm of the Mediterranean Sea. For an additional $100, name the sea. Baltic? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. You go back now to where you were at $100, and you can pick this up if you can give me the correct answer, Phil. Well, it's one, I'm going to say Aegean Sea. 
That's also wrong. It's the Adriatic. Okay. Ah. So the score remains tied 100 apiece, <laughs> and it's your spin, Phil Come on, Gilbert. Baby. Joker. 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 Oh. Take care. Uh, well, um, I'm going to go off the board for $100 on, uh, on fast forward geography. Very smart move. Very smart indeed. You're permitted to go off the board. And in this instance, since our category is fast forward geography, you did go off for that, and you can play as many of these as you want, including a win, including a car. But you must not miss a question. Nah. But you can stop whenever you want. Here right. we go for your first question. The most populous city in Florida is the state's financial and insurance center. It was named after our seventh president of the United States. For $100 more, name this important Florida city. Jackson. Right? What's the name of the city? Oh, uh, Jacksonville, Florida. I have to... Okay, the judges are saying that you said Jackson. That is not the name of the city. I, the question I asked was, name this important Florida city. Right. You did say Jackson. I know what you mean. Yeah. And That's you know what you okay. meant. But the judges said the one answer could be accepted, and that was Jacksonville, and you did not give that answer. Which means I'm going to have to give you another question, uh, Paula in the same category on geography, okay? Because mm -hmm. you would have had the opportunity to answer right. his question. It's worth $100, and here is the next question in my list on geography. The Great Lakes in North America are the largest group of freshwater lakes in the world. Of the five, which lake is the largest? Lake Huron. I hope. No, ma'am, for the very reason of its name, Lake Superior. Superior. Lake Superior. Mm. So, the score remains at 100 apiece, mm -hmm. And even though you just answered, that was his question you were right. answering, Paula. Mm -hmm. So it is your turn to go. Okay. Joker. Fast forward geography and a triple. I'll take fast forward geography for a uh, hundred. A hundred. Okay. Well. She wants to play it for a hundred. She, of course, had the right to play it for 200, but she elected to play for 100. Each question, again, is worth $100. The city I'm looking for is in Kansas. It's the boyhood home of Dwight Eisenhower and is now an important railroad shipping center. For another hundred dollars, name it. Kansas City? Nope. Chance for you to pick up a hundred dollars if you can tell me the correct city. Wichita? That's wrong too. Abilene. 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 It is, however, your spin, Phil Gilbert. All right, this is enough of this. Let's go. <laughs> Money. 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 Joker. Lovers. Um, I'll take, uh... Lovers for a hundred, Jack. All right. The musical West Side Story tells of the romance between star-crossed lovers. The boy's name was Tony. Yeah. What was the first name of the girl? Maria. Right. You have two hundred dollars. Score a hundred to two hundred. Phil Gilbert in the lead. We'll find out if he can maintain the lead after this. If you want. Score stands one hundred to two hundred. Paula, your turn to try to get ahead. I hope. You have U.S. money, a joker and a triple. Jack is an ex-banker. If I don't take U.S. money for 200, okay. I'm going to be Name in Name the president whose image appears on the dime. Oh. Not you, <laughs> Phil. Hamilton? Hamilton, no. $200 if you can it's tell Roosevelt. me. Roosevelt. Roosevelt yeah. is right. You have it for $400. Look at here. Bill, you have $400 with the right spin and the right answer. You can win the car. Give it a spin. Oh, come on, baby. This is it. Animal, Animal movie. Wild. Joker. Ah. A triple. Well, Jack, I'm going to take Animal Movies for 100 All right. You're permitted to do that. This is it. All you need is 100 You have 400 If you answer this question correctly, you'll have $500. Add it to the 6600 you have, you'll have $7,110 plus a car worth $3,800. You can't miss. You fall just short of $11,000, but you must give me the correct answer. Are you ready? Yep. This is one of the most important decisions, questions ever facing you in your life. Yep. Right, Phil? It, it certainly is. Okay, here we go. One of the most important characters in all of the Tarzan films was a little chimpanzee. <laughs> And you don't even know what I'm going to ask, right? How would you like me to ask you what Tarzan's mother's name was or something? 
for a grand total of $10,910, including an automobile, what was the chimp's name? Cheetah! You got it! Phil, you've got yourself almost $11,000. Will you be back tomorrow the next program? Oh, you can count on Well, I'm not coming. <laughs> Thank you very you gotta much. got to be here. Please be with us for the, ne the next program. We finished with this show? It's the fastest oh. show we've ever had. <laughs> See you next with Phil oh. Gibbon on the Joker's oh. Live. <laughs> Game Show Network wants to hear from you. So please write to us at Game Show Network, Post Office Box 805, Culver City, California, 902320805. We hope to hear from you soon. Some of our departed contestants will also receive Wiseroni, the big flavor side dish that's so quick, so easy. Wiseroni, that's the one you saute and simmer to flavor perfection. Wiseroni, the San Francisco treat. And World Book Encyclopedia 2 Volume Dictionary, containing 2,400 pages, 3,000 illustrations, and more than 225,000 entries. Also, protect wood, concrete, and masonry with Thompson's Water Seal, clear waterproofing sealer. Recommended for canvas, leather boots, and shoes. Plus, from Peter Paul, York Peppermint Patties, the cool fist combo of mid and dark chocolate. Bite into a York Peppermint Patty and get the sensation. <laughs> The Joker's Wild is a Jack Berry and Ben Enright production.